So let's begin with an overview of the project file. So you can start with the starter project and select the folder start. So I like to keep things well organized. So I've created groups. So first for the pictures, and this is also categorized. So we have category fashion and we have 10 pictures for each of them. We have food like so. Then we have cells. So we're going to have two custom cells. Then the controllers, we're going to start with the master view controllers where we're going to display the different categories. And when you select one category, you're going to be able to see a collection of pictures for that particular category. And that's going to be the collection view controller right here. Where we're going to see a collection of pictures. And then you have photo view controller, and that's going to be for the full screen presentation of one picture. Then you have the model, so that's going to be category. We're going to have category objects for every category in that uh, demo. So we have two properties for that category. We have the name of the category, and that corresponds to this category right here. So we're going to have category fashion, category food, and also the array. So that's going to be a, an array of photos, and we're going to use string objects. And that's going to correspond to the name of those pictures that we have right here. So we have fashion zero, fashion one. So that's going to go in sequence and that's going to be more convenient. So next we're going to go to the main storyboard. So we have three view controllers and we have a navigation controller in order to be able to navigate between the three. So first we have the master view controller. So that's going to be a collection view. We're going to use this collection. So view to display the different categories. And then every time you select one category, you're going to be able to segue to the next collection view controller to display a collection of pictures. So that's going to be that cell example. And we have a UI image view as an outlet for that cell. And finally, so once you tap on one cell, you're going to be able to also display full screen that image. And that's going to be the photo view controller right here. So we're going to begin with the master view controller and see how we can display categories for each cell. We're going to start with that in the next video.